Hey folks, it's Mark with Flyer Mountain Outdoors. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, I've got a rifle and I've got a torque wrench. What the hell is going on? Hey, there's something cooler. It's the Wheeler Fat Wrench. Stick around and I'm gonna explain why we have all this stuff out here. Well, if you're a do-it-yourselfer or have a mechanical mindset and work on your own stuff, you likely have a, a torque wrench just like this. And that's so we can apply a fixed amount of pressure and twisting force to a fastener. A lot of times, we'll have a, a, a valve cover or a head or something that needs an even clamping force. And using a torque wrench will allow us to apply that even torque to each fastener so there's an even clamping force. On a lot of smaller fasteners, we might have a smaller torque wrench, like this one. This one goes in inch pounds. We would use this for a valve cover or something with a soft gasket where we didn't need a lot of pressure, but we needed an even pressure. You know, Bob and I were working on our 1022 build the other day, and there was a call out for a 20 inch pounds for this action screw. Use a, a proper sized screwdriver blade to put this down and it says to tighten it to 20 inch pounds now that 20 inch pounds would be important um, and the reason that's important especially if we're going to use that that uh, that pad we're not going to free float our barrel is if we vary our tension on that screw it's gonna it's gonna change and flex the relationship of the barrel and the receiver and the optics mounted to your receiver and so our point of impact can shift so you can change your point of impact by taking this action the, uh, apart and putting it back together so repeatability is pretty important on this I'm gonna go check my inch pound uh, wrench and I think I can go down to 20 and I think we're actually gonna follow the directions for once and I'm gonna tighten this to 20 and remember that yeah uh, you'll future one thing that we've we've noticed you know if we've taken a 1022 down to the range that we hadn't shot before mm -hmm. say if we picked one up used and we're finding that it's inaccurate to where we think it should be checking that retention screw screw you know, usually can be a, a big uh, determining factor in your accuracy. Oh, that's right. We've we've actually loosened the the, uh, the action screw up here before and shrunk our groups. So there's a, there's a sweet spot, and that's uh, that's kind of a, a tuning trick. But um, let's go ahead and start with that twenty inch pounds, and if nothing else, then we'll have a repeatable baseline that we Absolutely. go to. So, Bob, I discovered a new tool that we need for the shop here. We need an inch pounds that we can go down to three inch pounds because we need stuff like that. Oh, well, that's right. Because I just checked my uh, my inch pound torque wrench, and it goes down to forty inch pounds. So that's about twenty inch pounds. I can tell by my calibrated hand. Let me check. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I think we're there now. All right, that's good. I'm glad you got your seal of approval. All right, I didn't have the right tool for the job. That brings us to the Wheeler Engineering Fat Wrench. I bought this out of my own money because, uh, frankly, I decided that I needed one. A lot of times we have all of these fasteners, and that when we're reading directions, they call out different torques. If you don't have a torque wrench, you can't tell what that force that you're applying. A lot of times, like on this Ruger, it'll have an aluminum receiver. We don't know, with just a screwdriver, if we have got it tight enough, or if we're going too tight and we are in danger of either stripping the screw head out or stripping the receiver, the soft aluminum material out of the receiver. So those were the main reasons why I wanted to get this, this wrench. This one from Wheeler Engineering was manufactured for me specifically in mind, a firearms enthusiast. It has a whole bunch of literature on the outside of the package with some suggestions and I can always find this. It'll be hanging in the same spot provided I put it back. So let's open it up and see what we got. Once again, I like Wheeler's packaging. Um, instead of having some clamshell that you have to cut open that's been laser sealed around the edges, this is a reclosable uh, package that's really nice. 
as the card that stays in there. And for some reason, like this one, I've been able to retain that forever. We have a, it looks like a clamshell case with two pieces. We have two, four, six, eight, ten different bits that are on here. It has the torque screwdriver itself. Now look at here. We have the calibration certificate. Uh, this was calibrated at the factory. Looks like it was calibrated in 2015, April, just a few months ago. Uh, it was calibrated by Inspector One, uh, who lives in a house with a tree next to it, it looks like. Uh, here we have the torque setting, the limits, and where it came in at. Uh, they set it for 10 inch pounds, and the range was 8 to 12, came in at 11. 30 came in at 29, 60 came in at 58. So that's, uh, that's reassuring that this has been calibrated using some kind of a standard. It also comes with, uh, with a good sheet of instructions with the usual warnings, don't stab your eye out. This is super handy right here. A lot of times you won't have a recommended torque. But here, they will give you the screw size, the diameter. You can measure that with your micrometer. And you can look at the pitch. And then you can look at what the recommended torque fastening uh, setting would be. So that's pretty slick. It gives you instructions on how to actually use it. I would highly recommend reading this all the way. Here's also some good tips right here telling you uh, the, the sequence and how to tighten your action screws. Enough of that. There, we got the instructions. I, I do think that that is important and I'm gonna keep those in the case right there. Let's see if this how this case goes together because I'm likely gonna wanna keep it and store it like that. And that can go back in there just like that. One of the most common uses for a torque screwdriver would be securing and torquing down your scope rings and your scope bases and your action screws. We're going to take a look at these scope rings that I've tightened down using my conventional screwdriver. I'm just going to see if the torque is at the right spot. Now if we look at this piece of paper that was provided by the manufacturer of the fat wrench, we can see that we have some screw sizes here. It says commonly used on scope rings. And it says use 28 to 30 inch pounds. Now I'm curious if my calibrated arm that decided that was tight enough is too tight or not tight. So as you can see, we are right down here at the bottom of the scale. To change this, you pull the base out and you screw this in by turning it clockwise. And we're going to move the little red indicator up to right at the 30 inch pound hash mark. So you can see we're at 30 pounds and I'm going to pick the right size Allen wrench. That one is too small. That one is too small. And that one is too big. Which brings up the one caveat that I do have about this wrench is that the screw selection that we have for the fasteners is pretty limited. But like you, you probably have a gunsmithing screwdriver set already. The good news is we can pick out the correct one out of that. And because this uses a common quarter inch drive, we can use the bits off of our other kit. Now I'm curious, once again, I've set this with, with, uh, with just my hand before, and I'm curious, see, I got a quarter of a turn to get to 30 inches. I had room to go on this. You can see the action of the screwdriver. It's a click style cams out and releases and lets me know that I have achieved the proper torque. Now it's a good thing to note 
whenever you're going to store this, just like your torque wrench at home, it's best to go ahead and relax it, bring it back down to zero, and that relaxes the spring so that spring isn't always under tension, and it maintains that calibration that came from the factory. Well, thank you for joining me on the first look at the Wheeler Fat Wrench. You know, my initial impressions of this are quite favorable, and I think that this was a, a worthy investment. I think, I don't think you can ever have enough tools. That all just went back in its package, and I can stick that right on the wall. Uh, this is going to work out just slick. Bought that with my own money. It came in under $50. I found it on sale online. I think it's a worthy investment and a worthy tool, and I think we're going to get a lot of use out of it, being able to attach our fasteners with confidence, knowing that we're not going to strip them out or over-torque them or leave them too loose. As always, thanks for watching. You can't take back a bullet. Always work safe, follow the four basic safety rules, and I'll see you on the firing line. Thanks for watching.